How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Uh, just a quick thank you for this year. Um, 2016, I know a lot of people are like, ah, 2016, boo. Um, but my 2016 was awesome. Way better than my 2015. 2015 may have been the worst year of my life. <laughs> So 2016 was way better, and I'm looking forward to 2017 already. Um, and just a huge thank you for you know the shares, the likes, the subscribes, uh, you know the Patreon, the um, the everything really. I mean, even if you click on my channel for a second and then just skip to the end to see if I fixed the broken game or something like that, I, I still appreciate that all the same. Or if you leave a comment or um, reach out to me directly, um, I, I think that's totally cool, man. And I'm I'm always down for that for sure. In fact, I just had someone earlier today. Um, I responded to one of his messages on Facebook, and he was like, "Wow, I didn't think." Uh, famous YouTubers uh, contacted us normal people or whatever he said. I was like, fa I'm, I'm eating I'm eating Cocoa Pebbles in my underwear. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> I was literally doing exactly that. I'm, I am not famous. I promise you that. I I shop for buffalo wings at the grocery store just like anyone else, so... Just, just a huge thank you, and and uh, and I appreciate um, you know, and I, I appreciate your support um, for this channel and for myself, and you know the kind comments to myself and my kids and all that. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. I just want to quickly cover five channels that I think you should watch out for for 2017. Um, these are five channels that I enjoy. Um, of course, I can't cover everyone and all my friends and all that. And I also consume YouTube differently than most people. I think um, I watch it more for the people not for the show, if that makes sense. Like, I do watch some channels for the show, but I really watch, um, a lot of my YouTube viewing is, they're my friends. Like, they're my, the people I go to conventions with, you know, whether they're shopping or vending or whatever. Um, it's a way for me to keep in touch with what they're doing, what they're playing and all that. So that's a lot of my YouTube watching. But these are five channels that I think you'll enjoy. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, um, you should check them out. And they are as follows. The first one on my list is RGT85. Uh, his name is Sean Long. Um, he and I started our own personal YouTube channels at about the same time. So I kind of put us, I don't put us at the same level in that aspect, um, but I've always been kind of chasing him a little bit too. Like I'll have more subs than him, then he'll have more subs than me, then I'll do a video that will go up here. And, and, um, and currently he has more subs than me. Um, he puts a lot more time and effort into his YouTube channel, I'll be honest with you. Um, but he's great because he does, reviews and not just the same reviews that everyone else does but he reviews like the obscure products the kind of stuff that i would actually buy so i like watching those um he also covers games um he covers news as well with his own insight um and it helps that he is also a a, a journalist um he's like a, he's the editor-in-chief of nintendo enthusiast so he has a journalistic mind to keep the pace moving so it's not just him yelling in front of a camera for half an hour, you know, <laughs> about random things. Um, it's just him saying, here's what's going on, here's what's gonna happen, and here's what I think about it. And and I and I dig it too, and I dig his content. So RGT85 is certainly one you should check out. What? Another one who's one of my friends, I've known her um, a couple years now, is uh, Kelsey Lewin. You might know Kelsey from being on the Metal Jesus channel as well. Um, she runs the Pink Gorilla stores in the Seattle area. And here's the thing about Kelsey. Um, she knows what the hell she's talking about. She knows her stuff. She knows her games. She's a huge import gamer like I am. Um, so, you know, the things she talks about with video games, um, I I take, you know, I, I agree. I believe her. You know, she she knows what she's talking about. Huge into Pokemon. That's not really my thing. That's, that's a generation gap and everything. Um, but the ongoing... Um, the ongoing joke that we have is we're both uh, identical twins. So if you happen to see her at a convention, it's like, oh, I just ran into your identical twin uh, Riggs over there. Um, she'll know what you're talking about. I think it's because we both had the same t-shirt once. He's like, oh, hey, we're twinsies. And <laughs> even though I'm probably old enough to be her dad, and I'm also a good two feet taller than her, I think. <laughs> um, uh, Kelsey's great. She just started her own YouTube channel. She only has like four or five videos and already has more subs than I do. Um, and I don't doubt it because, again, she knows her stuff. So, whatever. Another channel I just found out about recently, and I think it's a great idea, is called Only Level 1. Only Level 1 is Nathan, and he goes through the first level of every Nintendo game. He says he releases a video like once a day, and I actually kind of believe that because every time I sign into like my YouTube subscriptions, there's usually a new video from him. So his quest is to do the first level of every Nintendo game. 
And I just think it's a great gimmick, um, and, and it holds together really, really well. So it's kind of cool to see like what the first level of each game looks like. So you, then maybe you can look for it yourself and you know play the game yourself. But yeah, only level one. Um, <laughs> just what a great idea, man. Uh, check that out for sure. Another channel I really dig as far as like Let's Plays go is uh, my friend Anna, and it is Circuits and Coffee. And that's another channel that will, I think, will grow leaps and bounds in 2017. Uh, she does Let's Plays in her own way, and Anna's just cool, laid back, she's awesome. Uh, always dig running into her. Um, she's done some Metal Jesus videos as well, but she does her own videos too. And the name of the channel is Circuits and Coffee, which I think is great. It made me jealous enough to think to myself, man, I should have named my channel uh, Video Games and Breakfast Cereal, or like, you know, Repros and Breakfast Cereal, or something like that. You know, it's like, ah, Circuits and Coffee, I could have been... Could have been repros and cereal, you know, something like that. But um, but it's it's cool to see the let's plays from her. So check that out too. Except in an honorable mention. And finally on the list, you gotta check out Eight Bit Brody. This guy cracks me up. He goes to conventions. He's dressed like a used car salesman. Uh, he asks the most cringeworthy questions uh, to people and gets a weird reaction out of all of them. And uh, my daughter and I really dig watching Eight Bit Brody. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do in 2017. It's gonna be it's gonna be insane. My 2017 one of my 2017 resolutions is to be at the same convention as him, um, and hopefully I'll get an interview. I mean, hopefully he'll interview me, but I want to interview him too, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. Jared, how does it feel to be the most miserable man on YouTube? So those are my channels. If I left any of them out, make sure you link them in the comments below, or at least tell me in the comments below. If you link it, it may show up as spam. So uh, what other channels should I watch out for in 2017? Let me know below. Check out these other videos too. And here's to a great 2017. We'll see ya.